Regular broad QRS complex tachycardia can be ventricular origin or supraventricular origin with a burrancy due to bundle branch block. Differentiating between VT versus SVT with a burrancy can be very difficult. It is crucial to be able to make this distinction, as therapeutic decisions are anchored to this differentiation. EKG features that increase the likelihood of ventricular tachycardia are atrioventricular dissociation, capture beats, fusion beats, extreme axis deviation, very broad QRS complexes more than 140 milliseconds, positive or negative concordance in precordial leads, history of myocardial infarction, ischemic heart disease, structural heart disease, family history of sudden cardiac death suggesting conditions like hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, Brugada syndrome, congenital long QT syndrome, or arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia, and VT shows no response to vagal maneuvers like carotid sinus massage or intravenous adenosine. In AV dissociation, P waves and QRS complexes may be observed with different rates. AV dissociation is pathognomonic for ventricular tachycardia, but P waves are often superimposed on QRS complexes and may be difficult to be observed. Capture beats and fusion beats are also evidence of AV dissociation and also indicate VT. Capture beats occur when sinoatrial node transiently captures the ventricles during AV dissociation producing a narrow QRS complex. Fusion beats occur when a supraventricular impulse causes ventricular activation, which fuses with the complex originating in the ventricle, producing a hybrid complex. Extreme axis deviation or northwest axis, with QRS positive in lead AVR, and negative in lead 1 in AVF favors ventricular tachycardia. Very broad QRS complexes more than 140 milliseconds are usually seen with ventricular tachycardia. Positive concordance can be seen as entirely positive R waves in leads V1 to V6. Negative concordance can be seen as entirely negative QS complexes in leads V1 to V6. For difficult cases, the Brugada algorithm can be used to differentiate between VT and SVT with aberrancy. In Brugada algorithm, the following criteria are observed. Absence of RS complex in all precordial leads, R to S interval more than 100 milliseconds in one precordial lead, atrioventricular dissociation, Morphology criteria for VT present in both precordial leads V1, V2, and V6. The algorithm is followed from top to bottom. If any of the criteria is met, then ventricular tachycardia is diagnosed. Absence of RS complex in all precordial leads is synonymous with positive or negative concordance as described previously. If all precordial leads consist of either monophasic R or S waves, VT is diagnosed. If any RS complexes are observed in V1 to V6, then measure RS interval. RS interval is the time from the start of the R wave to the nadir of the S wave. If RS interval is more than 100 milliseconds, VT is diagnosed. If RS interval is less than 100 milliseconds, check atrioventricular dissociation. As described previously, if P waves can be observed at a different rate to the QRS complex, AV dissociation is present and VT is diagnosed. Secondary signs of AV dissociation include capture beats and fusion beats. If evidence of AV dissociation cannot be observed, Check the morphological criteria for VT in leads V1, V2, and V6. There are two sets of morphological criteria depending on the appearance in V1, dominant R wave or dominant S wave. In broad complex tachycardia with right bundle branch block morphology with dominant R wave in V1, 
Patterns indicative of ventricular tachycardia are taller left peak in V1, biphasic QR or RS complexes in V1, and biphasic RS complexes in V6. In SVT with aberrancy, taller right peak with RSR prime or RR prime in V1 can be observed. In left bundle branch block morphology with dominant S wave in V1, patterns indicative of ventricular tachycardia are R wave at least 40 milliseconds in V1 or 2, notching or slurring of S wave in V1 or 2, RS interval more than 60 milliseconds in V1 or 2, and monophasic QS complexes in V6. If none of the patterns are observed, SVT can be diagnosed. The Brugada criteria has high specificity but relatively low sensitivity for diagnosis of VT. This means, even in the absence of diagnostic features of VT, there is no way to ascertain that the rhythm is SVT with aberrancy. If in doubt, treat as ventricular tachycardia. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay safe and healthy.